This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is a great platform for building your online presence and running your business from websites, online stores, and marketing and analytics. Hello, welcome back. It's studio tour time, come on in. <laughs> welcome to the filming corner, the bit of the studio that I've basically made to look like my home. First up, I have this beautiful pink velvet bean bag because anytime I needed to relax in this space, I would just lie on the rug and I felt like I needed somewhere to actually like sit and relax. Hence the bean bag and I'm obsessed with it. Then there's the rug, as mentioned before. It is still very comfy to lie on. It's from Ikea. It's very nice. So this is where I sit and do my filming. The cushion is just a nice added touch for me. Impulse buy from Wilco's. <laughs> These are some Ikea Billy shelves that I put together myself because I love building Ikea furniture. I've got all of my sex books here organized by color. I did try organizing them by theme and author and stuff, um, but by color just looks better on camera. Um, but I am still getting used to trying to remember what color the spines are when trying to find a book. And then we have lots of different accessories. We've got my like dildo and butt plug candles from the sex toy candle company here. We've got my screaming vulva, a little glass dildo down here. Um, and then some like fake succulents because I'm a terrible plant mum. This side is less aesthetic because most of the times when I'm filming, uh, my body is covering this up, but we have my beautiful vulva puppet, my 100,000 subscribers <laughs> YouTube thing. This is like the kids sex books area. So this is all like sex books, relationship books, LGBT books that's like aimed at kids. The rest of the stuff down here is just mess put in pretty boxes to cover up the mess. For example, this nice little basket full of wires. So this is what it looks like when I'm filming a like sit down video in front of this set. So camera, mic, I have my iPad holder here, which is where I keep my like script and my notes. I've got my lights, which are bouncing off this big sound blanket so that my face is nice and lit without it being too like shiny and harsh. And then this also helps with the sound as well. Dual purpose, love it. Moving on to this glorious, thing, my cupboard. Uh, inside here is my post office. Ta-da! Just boxes full of envelopes and stamps. Shit that needs to be hidden out of the way, but you don't want to throw away. But it's so pretty on the outside. And then this is where I do my makeup for when I film. Lovely! Oh, and then some hand sanitizer. You know, when you enter the room, very important. Right, let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> You know it's the kitchen because it says kitchen. In my beautiful kitchen, we have this microwave that I got on Facebook Marketplace that looks like an old Mac. And then above my radiator, I have my framed like old merch posters. These aren't available anymore, but they're just like memorabilia, mems, you know? Do I look like a slut in the Drunk Advice poster? Lots of fun. And the orange goes with my microwave. Other kitchen related things is some prawn crackers left over from last night's Chinese takeaway, some Werther's original and uh, some mints. I do have some kitchen roll, very important. Bats and balls, because there's a table tennis table downstairs. Uh, I've only played once with my parents when they came to visit, um, but hopefully, we'll get to bust these out a bit more. Every good kitchen has like medical supplies, I guess. We have tampons and pads and paracetamol. We have a first aid kit and some deodorant. Very important, very important. And then the kitchen kind of stops being a kitchen and it's just like, these are my like easy access techie things like where I keep this microphone, I've got my like vlogging camera, I've got my like phone tripod and my uh, spare webcam that you'll see I use for podcast recordings. This is all actually old, old podcast stuff, but it's still there just in case. I also have this like yellow sunflower paper, um, like photography paper. Um, I've not used it for anything yet, but this is the same color that I used for the photo shoot that I did with Bethan um, and I wanted it for myself. Uh, so we'll see. And then 
the dressing room. <laughs> this is my hoodie that I keep in the office for when I get cold. This is my lab coat for everyone's favorite uh, science Hannah explainer videos. And then these are some sexy lingerie, which are literally just here to dress the railing. And because my drawer of sexy lingerie was overflowing at home and so, I just brought some here. Then this messy corner is where I keep all of my filming equipment, so my camera, lights, microphone, there's a green screen down there, and then that big bag is where the lights come from. And then this beautiful Hannah Witten HQ sign was a gift from Patreon when I moved in here. They sent it to me. And it is now up on the brick wall and I fucking love it. Now, moving on to the desk area. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Very nice. Oh, also, you may notice that I am wearing uh, slippers. Um, that is because I feel like this is an inside, like, homey place, and I don't wear shoes inside, so why would I wear my shoes here? But I didn't want to be walking around just in my socks or, like, barefooted to the communal toilets and kitchen. <laughs> So I got myself some slippers. Right, this is the desk. I brought over my PC from home. If you are interested in knowing what this PC is, because it is custom built. There was a whole video, hashtag Dan built this PC. <laughs> um, my dual monitors with this mono arm, which is very fun. Uh, I used to have like a very big wired keyboard and mouse and I didn't like it. And so I spent a lot of money on getting some little wireless ones and now it looks pretty and there's actually like space on my desk. I have this microphone for all of my calls and stuff and then as you'll see for podcast recording I move this over there. Um, but yeah this is probably where I spend the majority of my time. Oh did I forget to mention? You get it. Isn't this fun? Okay, that's too tall for me. <laughs> More like here. Now onto the final corner of the room, the podcast studio. Ooh. <laughs> it looks a bit bare right now, and that's because basically when I do a podcast recording, I like fully set this all up. And I don't normally bring my laptop into the office. I only really bring it in on podcast recording days. Um, but this is all like, acoustic paneling and then I got this neon sign made um, by a London company doing it the name of my podcast and I'm absolutely obsessed yeah this is the desk where I record podcasts also if any like uh, friends or colleagues like want to come over and you know need to get out of their own working environment for a day um, then this can be their desk where they set up their laptop and come and work and hang out. And so this is what it looks like when I'm doing podcast recordings. I bring my mic and my uh, laptop and mouse over here and I'm on my laptop with um, a webcam and then I bring in the sound blanket right here. So I have like a little, small little sound recording booth. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I host a bunch of my websites on Squarespace, including doing it podcast website, doing it podcast.co.uk. Squarespace is a brilliant platform for building your online presence or running your business. They have loads of themes to choose from. They are beautiful designs and super easy to use as templates for your website and whatever kind of like look and brand feel that you're going for. We recently did a big rebrand of the doing it podcast website, which is live now. And you can check out what we did with it with the new like brand colors and artwork. And it was super easy to add new pages to it in categories so you can now like see all of the episodes in terms of what season they're from and all of the different tags in terms of like themes of the episodes as well if you're like I want to know what different uh, disability related episodes that are or LGBTQ plus related episodes that are Squarespace allowed us to organize all of the show notes and transcripts in that way so you can find what you're looking for. Very cool. And Squarespace has some really powerful analytics tools so you can get to know your audience better and how they interact with your content from things like traffic sources, how long they're spending on different pages, audience geography, and so much more. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you are ready to launch, you can use my discount code. Go to squarespace.com forward slash morehanna for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And then down here, 
is my charging station right below my wonderful like sex positive poster wall. I have this massive brick for USB charging. I have a fan for when it's hot in here, which is not anymore. Camera chargers, uh, battery chargers and a printer. And uh, the printer is basically only used for printing out the sexy scribbles coloring pages. There's literally its only use but it's a very important use. Thank you so much for watching my office studio tour. What do you think? I am absolutely obsessed with this space. I love working here. I love filming and recording here. It really did come together in terms of like what was in my head and what is like here now. I'm impressed with myself if I, <laughs> if I say so myself. Thank you all so much for making this like transition possible for me in terms of like working outside of the home and in this like separate space. Like I have a commute now. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.